Did you know that there's a disaster deadlier and more catastrophic than Titanic? One that involved explosions and fire that gave people little time for survival. A disaster so insanely stupid that it deserves the Darwin Award. Today, I'm going to be talking about the SS Sultana and the flaws and carelessness that killed over 1,800 people on the Mississippi River. Being that it was 159 years ago, the laws have significantly changed, making ship travel safer for everybody. As always, I'll be using Minecraft to give a visual representation of the ship sinking. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoy this malicious presentation. The SS Sultana was launched on January 3rd, 1863, with it being one of the newest steamships at the time. This steamboat was ahead of the competition, with its legal capacity to carry 376 passengers and crew per voyage, but this would be completely disregarded. This meant the profit ratio between customer and capacity was enormous, and passengers could be squeezed into tight spaces to travel across the Mississippi River for a cheaper cost. The one to blame for the tragedy would ultimately be Captain Preston Lobwick for his negligence in the maintenance of water levels in the boilers. Furthermore, the vessel was overloaded with passengers and would list side to side as it turned through the turbulent river. Other problems including type of metal used for the boilers, the water used to feed the boilers, and the terrible design of the boilers combined to create a historically catastrophic event. The ship departed from Vicksburg, Mississippi, headed to St. Louis, Missouri. The water was flooded, freezing, and contained branches as well as various debris. The vessel made it about seven miles north of Memphis before something unexpected happened. It is now 2 a.m., and a large explosion is heard from the boiler room, then followed by two more explosions. All the boilers exploded approximately at the same time. Witness Jerry Potter watched it happen from a nearby park. He said, the entire center of the boat erupted like a volcano. Most tragically, there were soldiers from Kentucky and Tennessee squeezed right beside the boiler. A large amount of steam poured from the top rear of the boilers and went up at a 45 degree angle. This caused an explosion upwards, ripping through the crowded decks above. The pilot house was destroyed, causing all control to no longer exist. Witnesses account that people were flung by the force of the explosion. The twin smokestacks then soon completely collapsed in opposite directions of one another. The forward top deck fell into the middle deck, crushing and or trapping passengers. Luckily, the railings for the twin openings on the main stairwell were sturdy and allowed passengers to escape from the burning inferno from the front end. But tragically, things were a lot worse on the back end of the ship. The collapsing decks formed a slide-like structure leading straight into the burning inferno hole created by the explosion. By good fortune, a southbound steamer, the Bostana, came down river and arrived roughly at 2.30. Many passengers had to decide between burning with the ship or jumping into the freezing cold water. Some people were eventually noticed and swiftly picked up by the crew. Others succumbed to hypothermia or drowning waiting for help. More ships soon after joined the effort, including the USS Tyler, USS Essex, Silver Spray, Jenny Lind, and the Pocahontas. The large ship drifted for about six miles before sinking in Mound City around nine in the morning. Although the Sultana was the deadliest disaster in history, due to the assassination of Abraham Lincoln happening 12 days prior, it was ultimately overshadowed by the media, causing it to be lost in time. Resurrecting and keeping the history of the Sultana alive is my mission as an avid boat fan. If you liked this video, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe for future presentations so you don't miss out. I want to thank my friends for helping me. I'd also like to thank my community for being so supportive with my projects. Malicious, out.